this is my desk. My desk is a standing desk. It's from Ikea, and as you can see, it's really slow. So, I thought, why don't I try to see if I can make my desk more like the other ones I've seen where you just push the button and release your finger, rises up to where you need, a pre-programmed height, and then the reverse for going down again. So if I crack this open and then find the right areas to solder some wires to branch them off to an Arduino, I can just put an outside button on the side of my desk that I'll push and it will inject the same signal long enough for the desk to raise or lower. Key. So, here goes nothing. I got a spare if I break anything. It's the worst that could happen. I don't have space for this. Oh, I do because of my new organizer. Oh, perfect. I don't want to stab my desk. I have no idea who needs to design their button to need both a key and then on top of that, make sure it's absolutely impenetrable. I mean, talk about over-engineering. You usually think that IKEA stuff is pretty basic, just clicks together like Legos, but this is, this is ridiculous. This corner looks old. Well, the t-shirt did its job. Okay. I have a multi-tool. Those are my pliers now. Yay this case is not going to survive. Who did they think was gonna do this? Purpose. Oh God. Oh no, I'm scratching it. Oh yeah. At the front, there's this ribbon cable. Take that off. And there we are. So here's the circuit board. So what we're gonna do is take out this front piece now. By takeout, of course, I mean absolutely mangle and destroy. Open this up, find out the traces that are connected to each of the buttons. Remove the connector from the original PCB. I'll order a small version of the Arduino, put it all in a case, and we'll be golden. Ooh, this might be easier. This sec. Ah, oh, yeah. oh, yes. Not Sonic welded. So they chose to glue it. So here we have the two buttons. Now I can take this out and start to find where exactly, how exactly I'm gonna connect up the wires in the Arduino to the board itself. I should probably unplug the power first. There we go. Now we're going to plug in my destroyed, dismantled circuit board. Let's try holding that down. Oh yeah! I forgot to plug it back in. Who would have thought that would make it not work? Nothing when I just hit the button. And that works. I don't need a key anymore. So now all I need to do is solder those wires to other buttons. And after I solder the wires to the buttons and that works, then I just need to replace the button presses with a signal command from pressing the button one time that holds that signal long enough to raise and lower the desk. And then I just need to fine tune the length of that signal and it'll raise my desk to the correct height each time. That'll take care of that. I'm gonna get to work getting this uh, connector off. Still nothing. I'm actually gonna try using these cutters here to snip off the top of the connector and separate each of the pins so they can be individually desoldered with the iron. Oh, there we go, it's actually working. I've accidentally bridged two of the pins, so I'm gonna be sure to remove all that I can before I try to keep going. Well, it looks like I've ruined this board. For now, I'm going to see about cracking open that spare uh, controller I got, because unfortunately, I think this board's toast. Where's that screwdriver? 
promising. It's a lot better than last time. Although I wouldn't have known to cut there if I hadn't done this. So I feel silly for not having tried this last time before I desolder anything. And I had a thought, what if I just plugged a wire in? Sure enough, they fit perfectly. So just goes to show you, try testing the simplest solution first and ideally something that is non-destructive. You have these little momentary switches that I'm gonna use as a button. I've got it wired up as best as I can think of for now. Hopefully, if everything goes well, moving the desk up and down just by a button press. As it turns out, I needed a refresher on both basic electronics as well as Arduino code. And we are uploading the sketch. Click. Okay. Well, that was uneventful. So I'm changing my approach a little bit. I was looking up information on BJTs and trying to make sense of them and if they would work well for me. But it sounds like for most switching applications, MOSFETs are a better choice than a BJT. But I wanted to try the MOSFETs for one particular reason. BJTs operate when given a current, whereas MOSFETs operate based on voltage. When you're setting a pin on an Arduino from low to high, you're just switching the voltage, in my case from zero volts to five volts. And that makes sense that when I switch to five volts, it can operate something. And the MOSFET is what it directly operates. And I'm really excited for this because I have been wanting this desk to properly move up and down automatically since I bought it years ago. And it's my biggest complaint with the desk and I feel like I'm a day away from fixing it. I think I'm also gonna work out those words too, aren't I? It's gonna take me another week. Ugh. They finally came. These are the MOSFETs that I ordered. What I need to do now is separate out the buttons from the desk PCB. So the Arduino can read if a button is being pressed or not and do something with that information. What it will do is turn on the transistor and start the desk PCB circuit. Now let's see the desk actually work with this transistor circuit. What I have here are four separate buttons. On the right side here, I have two circuits that operate off of those MOSFETs I got. Buttons one and two are momentary switches in the sense that I will push them and they will operate. And then when I take my finger off, they will stop. The stand and sit buttons will be pressed and then send a signal for some designated length of time, even after I've removed my finger. I'm a little bit nervous. But here goes nothing in the name of science. Oh gosh, what did I do? Why did it do that? Oh, ha <laughs> ha! I must have forgotten which is the pins for the desk PCB, so I have those backwards. All right, let's change that. It is now time to uncomment the danger code. Now, the first potentially successful test for the sit and stand. Granted, I only have it set to run for one second each press, but I can change that to anything. Let's go to stand mode. Yes! It works! Oh my god! Days of work and one of my first electronic mod projects actually works. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Let's run for two seconds. Two seconds. Upload. Can we even see my desk? No, we can't. Desk. Up. I cannot express how satisfying that is. When you finally get something to work as you want it to. And I'm really proud of this. I hope you are too of whatever you might be creating right now. Because you should be. Even if it's making mistakes along the way, you're getting closer, just like I did to this system right here. Congratulate yourself for that. This is my workbench. I made it. Uh, 
probably four years ago, I was gonna put a CNC machine that I was also in the process of building on top. But it never happened. I got the parts sitting around. So for now, it's gonna be my workbench and I'm gonna just use it for my soldering. Let's go grab some parts. Soldering iron. Multimeter. My parts for the circuit. Magnifying glass. Box of spare parts in case I break anything. Third hand that I have yet to assemble. Barrel connector for a power adapter. Something to protect the surface. Wire cutters. Oh. Wire cutters. You know, we'll try that anyway. Drink's always important. Glasses so I can actually see what I'm soldering. Power adapter from an old digital photo frame to cannibalize. And I think that's about it. It's go time. We'll start with a little organization. Cool. Now we're gonna set up this rapidly deteriorating third hand. Am I, oh no, am I cross-threading it? Ah, I think I am. No, who would have thought? Half a millimeter plastic threads on metal threads. Who would have thought that's easy to cross thread? Me? No. Kind of reminds me of like, I don't know. A jellyfish? Cthulhu? Upside down octopus having a dance party? Woohoo! One of those wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube men? That kind of thing. I'm selling cars. Oh, cool. Changes it from cool temperature, warm temperature, and both. Useful feature. I actually ordered some other push buttons that are larger than these small tactile switches. Here are my proto boards. I decided to go with pad boards for the Arduino Nano. This side that you see is gonna be exposed so you can access the USB port. So you're just gonna take it and solder the header pins in just like that. Now I'm gonna clean this off with a little isopropyl alcohol. Now to lay out the board. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to attach the barrel jack to the board. So I'm going to drill out one pin and then I'll bend the sleeve tab underneath and solder it regularly on the bottom. I think it's about time to try out Cthulhu. Cthulhu pulls through, Lord of Darkness. And of being a helpful soldering partner, but his marketing team doesn't advertise that that much. Oh, it heated up, yay! I really shouldn't be complaining, it's very fast. Yeah, it's like I actually knew what I was doing. Thank you, Cthulhu. Now go away, you're stealing my spotlight. And there we are. First solder points on my board. You always have to hit the trigger to make sure it works. I'm not gonna solder it quite yet, but it's time to get some jumper wires cut and bend those into place, see how everything fits. Where'd it go? <laughs> Aha! Got it! I've got the resistors put in place. These two are the 100Ks, which will pull down the MOSFETs. And these four staggered ones are the 4.7Ks, which will pull down the four buttons. It's harder than it looks. Now I'm gonna take this female header cut off from earlier and cut it down to five pins. One for each of the button signals and one for five volts. And now I'm going to run the positive negative wires from the power jack over to the ground right here and the voltage in right there. Then I'll finish that up with the five volts going over to the header. 
there's the power wire run to the Arduino and the buttons. And now really, it's just going to be a matter of soldering everything correctly on the back. Which is going to be fun. The reason I'm adding the headers for the different boards is I can assemble them board by board and screw them in place and then push the wires together rather than trying to make sure that one board isn't torquing another as I screw it in place on the case. I'm happy with this and it's not going into production. It's a one-off. If it works, I'm good. Now it's time to solder. Cthulhu! Oh no, that's a cleaver. If you're new to soldering, while it does take a little bit of art and finesse, don't be intimidated by it. It's, it's not actually that hard. If you have a decently steady hand, you can do it. Try it. It's a lot of fun. Uh-huh. Interesting. First personally designed board complete! Now let's just hope it works. I blame Cthulhu if it doesn't. For my next trick, I'm going to modify a power supply that'll work with something like this. Of course! I'm just gonna pull this apart a bit. You gotta make sure that all your heat shrink is on before you start soldering, otherwise you won't be able to get it on later. Cthulhu! Honey, I shrunk the heat shrink. And there you have it. A replaced plug. Also undone soldering. Place the positive lead in the center, touch the outside, and it looks like I wired it up backwards. And there we go, that's correct. Be sure you perform checks like that when modifying power supplies. You don't want to blow anything up by giving it the wrong voltage. No, I don't know from experience. That's actually true, but only because I haven't done enough work with power supplies. It'll happen, I'm confident. It's probably been about a week and a half since my prior film session for this video. A couple things happened. One, I got my buttons. This big bag. I've got all sorts of colors. I'm trying to plan out the button PCB here. Oh, they stay pretty well. I'm impressed. I haven't even soldered those in place yet. I'm also really excited about something else. Just a few hours ago, I finished my first ever YouTube video, which covers my whole experience learning Python by coding chess. It took a really long time just because I'm kind of particular about things and I want to make sure I'm releasing some good stuff that hopefully you guys want to come back to. I just wanted to share how happy it's made me to finally get something uploaded and about to be shared with the world. For those of you who are thinking of doing something new, and you're worried about what may come of it, whether it's developing a new product or service, or learning a new skill, picking up a new hobby, making a YouTube channel, do it. Just try it. What do I want to say? There's a lot that's gone on in these past couple weeks. You don't know what's going to come of it to start with. I have no idea how that video is going to perform. I don't know what my next project after this is going to be, but I'm trying something and it just feels good to have worked so hard for something for the whole month to make that video what it was. And I hope, if anything, you're encouraged by videos like this one, videos like that chess one that I made, and videos by all the other maker creators on YouTube to start something. Because they convinced me to do it, their stuff was cool and I wanted to make cool stuff and, and share it. Do your future self a favor and get started you'll find a way to make things work. You'll find a way to learn those new skills. And now for something completely different. Now I've arranged four of these on this board. 
will look something like that. Oh, I could literally shake you upside down earlier. What's going on? How much do I gotta pay you for this job? Just like that. I'm gonna get to tacking these things in place and we'll solder everything up. Cthulhu! I almost forgot. Buzz, buzz. People wanna talk to me. I don't have time for this. Who's got time to talk when you have to improve your desk buttons? It's time to cut some wires. Now onto the signal wires. Dang it. Where'd it go? Turns out I actually soldered these on the wrong side. We'll just snap on some button heads and be ready to test this out. But first we've got to cut some jumpers to bridge these two together. Close enough. So here are the boards connected together. I'm really excited now because I finally get to test the circuit when it's not on a breadboard and instead soldered up all together. Here goes nothing. Or everything. Blue smoke of death could mean everything and that would make me unhappy. Put a lot of time into this. You wanna see your efforts pay off, right? Yeah, but if they don't, I'll be fine. Kinda of reminds me of like a distant cousin of Wally. Wally. So I brought the boards back to my desk here, and for the past probably two hours, I've been trying to just get the Arduino to program. Two hours to program. Two hours to program. Two hours to program. First, I gotta reinsert this Arduino, now that it's programmed. Now, I have my power supply here. We'll take my desk PCB, situated. Oh, right in the face. Why do I have so many cables here that I don't know where they go? Ah, that'll work. Power? No blue smoke thus far? There. Okay. And the moment of truth. Dang it. Why did that not work? Hmm. Let me check my wiring. Red, blue, yellow, or maybe it's big electricity. They just don't want you to know. Did that not give a ground? Oh, whoops. Well, interesting. I think that's my problem. There are two ground pins on this Arduino. I wired up neither of them. Be right back. I've added this ground wire here. Now let's see what happens. Power again. Please don't blow up. Test number two. Ha ha! Yes, all right, this has to work. And which one's the up button? I think it's this one. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh my God! It works! Oh, my own circuit works! I have wanted this for years since I got this desk. It's amazing. Probably I'm also out of focus. Years, I tell you! It going down. <laughs> that is so cool. There it is. We've got the Rear, I believe, yeah, the rear, you can see the ports right there, they're being formed. And here's the front plate. Here we have all the 3D printed parts, the main body, which will hold all the boards, a cover, and a hold down for the desk PCB. Mounted the button PCB, desk PCBs in, desk PCBs connected, main PCBs installed. Now for the fun part, connecting those wires. Button PCBs connected, Maybe I should have tested it before I boxed it all up, but 
I'll test that now. It's looking pretty good. Everything fit together really well. Tiny bit of cutting I had to do. It's only four times as big. Nobody's gonna notice. It's color match and that's what's important. Time to test the finished product. Oh. What I do? Not good. Not good. That was the right button. Success. Now to attach it to the desk. <sighs> Gotta shave down those molehills with a knife. Ah, drill bit. Of course we need the one that's broken off, but I think it'll do. I certainly could have made the channel for the screws thinner. Salt. Oh, power. To infinity and beyond. I love it when a plan comes together. As you probably noticed, this video was completely unscripted, unlike my last one. I wanted to experiment with both extremes to get a feel for the different production styles. And I like elements of both. I really like having a small plan in place. It helps me to stay on track and not ramble on with my talking. I had to cut out 12 hours of footage out of 12 and a half hours of actual shooting. I think. It was a lot, and I'm ready to not do that again, but also have a little bit more freeform acting in my videos. I think it helps me kind of be more myself, have some laughs, crack some jokes, and I like that a lot. So if you haven't had the chance already, go ahead and watch my other one, and then let me know what you think about both styles, what you do and don't like about them, and how I can improve the next time. Please consider subscribing for more projects, and most importantly, Thank you for watching. This is my dad. <laughs> oh god. Let's see if I can get this out without breaking. Woo! A locket tab? Oh. Oh. This is not going well. So now I need to take my prototyping board. Can I pull something off the desk? No. I hope not. To go from a standing position to... Sitting to standing. I am sitting right now. Ah! Not very good. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Fucking up my glasses. <laughs> oh, dang it. For my next. Oh, also, I'm done soldering. Wowie. 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 Wah, 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 And the first step was to program the nano. I'm gonna fry something as soon as I turn this thing on. Oh, hi, Chip. How are you doing? Come here, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hello. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. All right, goodbye. <laughs>